It's his first time in Channel's television since taking over the mantle of leadership at the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. The EFCC chairman commends Channel's television for helping in the fights to rid the country of corruption through its balanced news reporting. There, there are too much talk about um, uh, the issue of corruption fight back, fighting back. You know, of course, corruption will fight back. You don't expect to somebody to you, you don't expect to fight somebody all the time without him fighting back. But we are resolved. We are ready. We are determined to fight this fight to finish. She also shed more light on the controversy over the re-arrest of some individuals after they've been granted bail by the court. No, there are a series of allegations that you know, like for instance in the case of Nimasa, Nimasa, there was a two billion initially when we took him to court. Then later on we realized that he has another matter that is upon out of the public fund about 34 billion naira. So, so certain things has to be there are reasons for doing what you did. For the chairman and CEO of Channels Television, Mr. John Momo, the fight against corruption must be sincere if Nigeria must recover from its challenges. The ongoings in the country now is a, a sad commentary uh, and it's a reminder of the cankerworm that corruption uh, is. Uh, the, the, the country has been pillaged, it's been looted very badly. Uh, just like Wale, Wale Shoyinka said, Corruption will fight back, and the battle has just started. So we can only pray that you're dogged, and I know that, you know, I haven't checked your antecedents before you came in here this morning, and when you were made acting, uh, that you would stick to it, and you'll conquer. The EFCC calls on all Nigerians to partner in the fight against corruption as it continues to beam its searchlight on culprits. Loretta Chiogo, Channels Television News.